Tangmu dan hanganmu Membuatku jadi tergila-gila Tak ada yang bisa melulukan hatiku Yang biru Tak kuduga dirimu memberi Dia menunggu tanda-tanda darimu. Oh, mungkin tak seharusnya berperahu. Bunda pun melanda, lumpuhkan semua daya. Bagaimana bila kau tak sama rasa? Haruskah ku bertahan bila sesungguhnya kau ada yang punya tak mampu menghindari cemburu di hati. How do you feel? Don't you feel like there's a romantic rivalry yeah. between them? Yeah. <laughs> like for women? And who kind of won that c competition, sort of? Uh, I think both of us oh, all right. lost that medal, uh, actually. <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, congrats. Thank congratulations. You so much. Thank you so much. Um, you know, you used to be a, you know, just a singer, and then you have this band and sort of like collaborate together, and it, it produces something which is really fresh in a way, yes. it's kind of disco, you just want to make people dance. Mm. Oh, thank you. Yeah, so, yeah, yes. yeah, but tell, tell us, how did you come about together and do this collaboration? Um, so, first of all, we've been a fan of Teza's amazing voice for a long time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And to have this collaboration, it's truly an honor. Mm. Uh, so it all started when I was first introduced to Teza, it mm. was I think um, a year it was ago. A, yeah. A year ago. Was it an event like yeah. Ami Awards? Yeah, Ami Awards, yes. It was one of Ami Awards events. And I was introduced to him at the very first time. Okay. And I was not holding back. I told him what I wanted to say. I said, you have an amazing voice. <laughs> and, yeah. and is it possible... Well, likewise. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, likewise. <laughs> yes, thank you. So I said to him, like, is it possible in the future if we have, like, a collaboration? Mm. And surprisingly, that's just said yes. I was very surprised and I was thankful for that. So I kept his word. I told to Heston and Ravin and not long after that, when we were making some new music, new songs, it's uh, back in our studio. Yeah. Uh, we made this track. It was like uh, a groovy, laid-back track with the R&B influence going on here and there. And Which I love it. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and he fell in love with yes, the concept. Yes, fell in love with the concept. So Heston said, like, I think someone's voice would fit this song perfectly. Mm -hmm. So I contacted Teza again. Yeah. 
and I sent him this draft and Tez uh, completed the not yet completed draft at that time mm -hmm. and here we are today celebrating 3DM at C2 Day. Wow, <laughs> so, and, and Hassan is like Amazing. behind there, <laughs> yeah. one, of the, one of the think tank to this uh, yeah, sort of collaboration, one of the think right? Tank, Congratulations, yeah. I mean this is amazing. Thanks. How did wow. you ensure the chemistry happened between you two? Uh, Basically, we don't know. <laughs> we don't know. It just right. naturally just... came out of nowhere. I, I don't know. But I really love the the demo mm. at first because mm -hmm. it's kind of fresh. It's like retro, but in new school way. Mm. And I really love it. Mm. And I'm down for it. So I took my part um, from the melody and the lyrics, and then. It blends really yeah. well, I guess. Just <laughs> blend all of it in. Yeah, it's, it's very unique. I mean, mm. the guitar also is just amazingly, you know, sort of like creeping into all this. Yeah, thing. yeah. yeah. Um, so I just want to know the, the story behind this Tardiam. Is it like a personal story? Or, you know, or is it inspired by who? Is there any inspiration? <laughs> well, most of our song probably we made up from scratch. So we kind of imagine it. All right. Yeah. And That's a wild imagination, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Probably um, mixed uh, with fact a bit. <laughs> okay. All right. Probably, I don't know. And this is getting. But Tordiam is not your typical uh, lovey dovey song. Mm. So we want to put a twist and spice to it. Mm. So the na narrative and the question that we want to bring to the audience is Have you ever been in a situation? where you're um, liking someone who's already uh, in a relationship or taken probably. Mm. And, and the question is, they're, therefore, are you going to pursue that person or are you going to back off? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Okay. A, a lot of people will be so much relatable to this song, yeah. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. Yeah, I mean, well, all of, what, what do you want to say? I think this is very interesting because yeah. usually someone is, you know, um, Loving someone from afar, just one person with another person, but this is two person. Yes. yes. Uh, how do you actually combine the ideas? Is it coming from Fintonic or is it coming from Teza? As in the script and the concept of the lyrics. It's an interesting story because at first we made a song with a story like, mm -hmm. uh, so the person was trying to approach this girl, mm -hmm. but turns out the girl has someone else. Mm -hmm. eh, yeah, and then um, uh, when Teza came in and the, he completed the lyrics on his part, mm. it just made this thought and twist and turn in the song. It's like a puzzle. It's like a puzzle. Yeah. Like, a puzzle. like right. he, he fits the missing puzzle. Yeah. How do you guys see your personalities sort of, you know, mixed together? Yeah. Are you like similar kind of artist or is it actually a different but then it works? I think we're different. We're different, yeah, right? So different. basically, also the, your the genre the is actually different, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, one yeah, is yeah, more yeah. R and B, and yeah. the other one is more disco, retro, fun, sort of retro. Like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, unity and diversity, yeah. I guess. Unity yeah. and diversity. How, how do you see that? Also, Teza, from your career, you mm. always, you know, sing R and B yeah. songs or a little bit of, of rap as well. How do you see this enrich your sort of music career? Basically, it's just like uh, um, a, fr a fresh sound to my ear. Mm. The music, the, their music is really like so fresh in, in this generation because, mm -hmm. like I said before, it, it was it is retro in a new school way, mm. and I never been to have that kind of genre before, mm -hmm. and I, I would like to try something new with them. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> how has the audience responded so far? So far, uh, we have various uh, feedbacks from past listeners to mm. also new listeners, mm. and so far, uh, well. Thankfully, all of them like our new yeah, song. In a, in a positive way. In a positive way. <laughs> and one of the feedbacks that uh, uh, we've received recently, it was a, a recreation video. I think Teza also saw it. Yeah, yeah. with the... The uh, girl the with, the, with the yeah, the mom with uh, the daughter with, with her son a uh, daughter. Wow. wow, I think it's her daughter. Her daughter. Yeah. So <laughs> basically, uh, if you've seen our video, like me and Teza, we were just vibing with our music mm -hmm. and uh, we were just lip syncing with our song. Mm -hmm. So this person, this mom and daughter, basically recreates the video. Like, oh wow, it's so funny. Yeah. It's so cute. So <laughs> you're it's really, really cute. cute. Yeah. Part of your defense demography is actually moms with kids. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh yeah. Because these are like four uh, cute guys? Cute. <laughs> yeah. Maybe, um, maybe. Yeah. Well, I mean, why not? Yeah. This is really fresh and never thought of, uh, but perhaps. Also, before, I wanted right? to you. ask Fentonic because mm -hmm. you're sort of, we can say newer than Teza, right? Mm -hmm. What kind of music that you want to offer to Indonesian audience and who are your inspirations? Yeah, I mean, um, what kind of music? 
um, literally we really like um, old Indonesian music too, mm. like you know, cliche stuff. Yeah. And then, yeah, I don't know, there are lots of Indonesian artists that mm. we really admire, Chandra Darusman. Mm -hmm. yeah. And yeah, yeah, Faris Aram, definitely. Mm -hmm. And uh, I guess we kind of want to relive that kind of, you know, musical Era. eras mm -hmm. with a new twist, sort of. And it's, uh, you know, it's also called, you know, pop creative, right? Pop creative. Yeah, right, right, right. And yeah, it's just this very rich genre of music that I think um, we have more to offer. Yeah. Wow, wow interesting. Nice. It's like a very yeah. honorable mission too, to um, sort of become the catalyst for introducing old Indonesian song. Mm -hmm. And are your fans, Fentonic and Teza, actually like know each other before? Or this is actually new so that they sort of, you know, see each other in a different light. Have you done your homework here? <laughs> I've, I've, I've seen mm. some responses from Teza's mm. listeners mm -hmm. yeah. and it's really heartful like well, when we saw like new listeners, that's why I mentioned before. Wow, mm. yeah. Uh, because uh, we know that our past listeners also enjoy our songs and yeah. with this new introduction, uh, we we like see new opportunities from new listeners, from mm. Desert listeners, and I hope Desert listeners also oh, yeah. like our song. Yeah. It's basically the other way around. The other way around, yeah. yeah. That, that's, so, that's really supporting each yeah. other. Yeah. But I mean, I, I can imagine mm -hmm. when they like go up on stage, like all the women will be like, ah, <laughs> you know, and all the taken women will be saying, hmm, let me just think, <laughs> think about this, right? <laughs> so, okay, talking about lacking women who has already been taken by other, do you have an experience? You sort of like gave us a little clue that <laughs> ah, partly <laughs> probably true. Well, for me personally, I'm a very introvert person. Okay. <laughs> and for me, to like to say, "Oh, I like you," to a woman is very hard. It's like, oh, I need to do a milestone to do yeah. that, right? Yeah. yeah. And my, uh, much often, I think I to think too much mm. to take a step mm. further, and therefore, probably the woman is already taken usually. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> this is sort of like a liberation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, if you're so shy to say to a woman. Just give them this, just give her yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. But I have Someone a question though. Out. Are you guys all taken or? Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> That's for the audience out there that are yeah. probably like yeah. wandering. For the audience out there, this is merely information. Yeah. <laughs> We can we, okay. we all answer it or just one no. person no. as a representative? Thank you. Thank you for, for being so honest. Yeah. What no, I am actually take. Well, I'm single. Okay. <laughs> yeah, single. Well we have two singles okay. now. What about the others the rest? You, it's complicated. It's complicated. It's single compl but complicated. Okay. So anyone who wants him, Nico, yeah. he's single but complicated. Yeah. Okay, it's complicated but on the market. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All, All right. right. So this is getting hot. Yeah. But we're still gonna talk with you guys. So everyone, stay tuned because Ventronic is still here. Teza is still here. We're gonna talk more deeper about oh. what about the collaboration, what's going to be next, so stay tuned here. <laughs>